You know, Cindy, mm -hmm. we did a video on the Trendelenburg gate pattern not too long ago. Right. Uh, we got a pretty big response from it. Lots of questions about it. Mm -hmm. uh, they were calling it waddling, and right. I know that's kind of what it looks like. So we thought maybe it'd be a good idea mm -hmm. uh, if we uh, did another video yes. and maybe did some talked about it a little bit more in detail. So, yep. so we have had a lot of questions. Yes. And uh, we've had a lot of people just say, hey, I have this. I have this. This is yeah. what's happening to me. Yeah. Um, one thing that we want to be very clear on is um, if this is if you think this is happening to you you need to be assessed if you haven't um, because there's a lot of different things that can cause some weakness in this hip area mm -hmm. and as you notice I have a piece of tape yeah. here um, that's kind of indicating the hip abductors which is ABD so the glute gluteus medius and minimus um, in this area is what does hip abduction and when we're talking about hip abduction mm -hmm. we're talking about this motion here mm -hmm. okay it also ab it acts as an abductor when you are standing on that leg so the same muscle mm -hmm. when you're in stance on mm -hmm. that leg holds the pelvis level oh. so it's contracting and holding the pelvis level mm -hmm. if it does not hold the pelvis level then the pelvis drops on this side okay so oh. that that could be some balance issues for sure. Well, yeah, it can cause some safety issues if yeah. you're having that, you know, going on with your walking pattern. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, during that, so that's that's actually kind of how we test people oh. for the Trendelenburg sign okay. is we do that single leg stance. So we have them stand on that leg, mm -hmm. lift the other one. And if you see the hip drop down on the opposite side, okay, so the hips, this should maintain level hips whenever you lift this leg. Mm -hmm. If it drops down, that's a positive sign that there's some weakness there. If you think about it, you have to have your hips maintaining that level position as you bring this opposite leg through when you're walking. You know, mm -hmm. right. if it drops, there's not enough clearance here. Okay? Right, right. So a lot of times when that happens, if there's weakness, instead of allowing the hip to drop down and in, in, in stubbing your toe or yeah. not being able to clear that leg, mm -hmm. people tend to lean over and, and that's what helps mm, clear that clear leg. It. So you get this hitch over mm -hmm. to over that weak hip in order to clear this leg through as you're walking. So we'll show a couple of things like that in, mm -hmm. in a minute. Yeah. But again, we've kind of taped this off, showing you where that muscle is. Mm -hmm. You can feel if you put your hand, okay, so you have your hip bone here. Mm -hmm. You turn your leg in and out a little bit, roll it in and oh, out, yeah. you can kind of feel the hip yep. bone, okay? Yep. If you kind of go up from the hip bone, Mm -hmm. And then you can go up and kind of feel it here. You can go back just a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you stand on that leg, you can feel that muscle contract. Oh, yeah. So you feel it yep, contracting yeah, underneath yeah, here. Yeah. And if you take that leg out to the side, mm -hmm. you can feel it contract. Oh, yeah. Okay, as long yep. as you bring it straight out it's to the side. a lot of movement in that area. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there can be a lot of things going on. It could be hip instability, again, some arthritis, some pain. Sometimes when we have pain, mm -hmm. our muscles stop doing that, stop doing what they're supposed to be doing to protect us. And then when they do that, they start getting weak. Okay. Um, so you may see this a lot in, in just hip, hip weakness, mm -hmm. but it, you really need to be assessed to find out what's causing that weakness yeah, so, that, so that you're treated appropriately. Right. And a case in point, we had a gal um, reach out to us and say that she had a Trendelenburg gait pattern where mm -hmm. she was hitching over yep. the one side, but it was not due to hip weakness. Mm -hmm. She had an issue with foot drop. I wondered that when we were talking about clearing your foot mm -hmm. through there, I wondered if there mm -hmm. was any... Yep. So she had an issue with foot drop, which yeah. meant she can't raise her foot up. Yeah. So in order to clear this leg, mm -hmm. she's leaning over this way. Yeah. Well, she doesn't have, that would not be a Trendelenburg Trendelen, gait. Yeah. yeah. She is compensating for not being able to clear to at the clear, foot. You have to yeah. clear her foot through. Yeah. Isn't so you always have to be assessed sure. for your situation to make yeah. sure that what you're doing to treat it is appropriate. Absolutely. You know, so yeah. that's what, that's what we really like to, um, you know, let people know for sure. So if somebody was interested in getting a physical therapy assessment, mm -hmm. what would they need to do? Um, they need to talk to their doctor, their okay. primary care physician, okay. let them know that there's, you know, some problems going on, let them to help figure out what the source of the problem is. Right. Um, and also a referral to therapy for physical yeah. therapy so assessment. Most, most, 
people will have to go to the doctor. The doctor, their primary care will have, have to, to make refer. the referral. Yeah, most they of the just time. can't call a physical therapist in. They have um, to you know, in some states, it's a, you know, but it's just okay. easier just to go through the doctor at this point. And your doctor needs to know anyway. Yeah, they need your to primary know. care needs to know they anyway need to know. your concern. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So why don't we take a look again at what that um, walking pattern looks like? Absolutely. Okay. So now let's take a look at what your walking pattern may look like if you have weakness here on the left side. All right. So if I'm walking this way and I take a step with this left leg, I'm most likely going to lean this way in order to clear my right foot. So it would look like this. Okay, so if I'm walking back and again I'm just showing that when you don't have the strength here to hold your pelvis level, usually people will lean over in order to clear this foot when they're coming through.